Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use this completely free automated web scraper that you are going to absolutely love because it can scrape any business directory, whether it's Yelp, Yellow Pages, Realtor.com, and it's going to be able to scrape all this information about these businesses and put it into a clean looking Google Sheets with one click of a button. And it's going to be able to scrape their company name, their phone number, what services they provide, their website, and much more. And the best part about this whole thing is that I'm actually gonna give you this automation completely built for you, so you don't need to build it yourself, you just need to watch the next five to 10 minutes of this video to understand how to use this automation, and then I'm gonna show you how to get your hands on this beautiful thing for free without you having to build it. So let me just give you a really quick overview on how this automation works, and then we're gonna be building it from scratch in a quick 10 minute demonstration, and I'll show you how to get your hands on this. So if we go right to the start, Essentially what we have here is a HTTP request, right? It sounds confusing, but essentially all you need to know is that this URL is what we are scraping. So you can see that this URL here is the same URL on this business directory. Now, if we wanted to use Yellow Pages, we could essentially go to Yellow Pages, which is another business directory. And I'd recommend looking into business directories if you are working with local businesses like real estate agents, uh, roofing, HVAC, construction, med spas, dentists, and so forth, just because you get a bunch of their information like phone numbers, websites, and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful. But if we just take Yellow Pages and searched for, let's just say, um, I don't know, plumbers in Los Angeles, California, and give it a second to load, you can see that we get a bunch of um, plumbers with their phone numbers, right? So this search term right here is what we would replace in the HTTP URL. And that is pretty much all you need to know. Obviously the method is get, um, which is obviously telling make that we're gonna get this information from that URL. Um, and then the body type is this, um, and the pass response is no, right? So that is the first thing that you really only need to change is just this URL right here. Um, and then it's essentially gonna get the data from this. It's gonna pass that. Um, so it's gonna get elements from HTML. And then we've got an iterator. So what that means is instead of, so if we do this thing right here, you can see that you can't actually find their phone numbers on this page. So what this part does in the automation, the iterator is essentially, it allows us to go into the actual page right here of the business and scrape everything we can see right here. So we're talking about their phone number right here, their location, um, what times they open, their company name, um, you know, the reviews that they have down here, um, and so much more, right? So that is why we have this um, here, because it allows us to go one step further and actually go into each individual page, which is obviously what we need to do to scrape their phone numbers. So then it's going to sleep. This means that we are essentially going to let it rest. So instead of us scraping 100 leads in a second which looks suspicious and um, what will happen is these business directories like Yelp and Yellow Pages um, may just shut you down because obviously if you scrape a thousand leads and you know how this automation works is it runs the um, it runs new tabs open in, a, in, in the cloud essentially it's going to use a lot of usage meaning that it's making it slower it's making the server slower for other people when they try and use these business directories so we obviously want to have a sleep of five seconds, 15 seconds around that time, um, just so we don't, yeah, use have too much usage, right? So that is that. Then we've got another HTTP Yelp, and that is essentially um, the part that we've scraped. Um, and from this point on, we basically tell ChatGPT to, um, yeah, find all services that Yelp listing provides. Please provide me with information in a list format with no additional information, keep it brief, and then we give it the website. So that is essentially scraping more information. Um, and then you don't really need to know too much about this because all of this remains the same. And then all this information goes into a simple Google Sheets. So that is the basic overview of this automation. And what you're gonna do now is we're gonna import this into your Make account. Um, and then I'm gonna give you a bit of a deeper explanation on how to use this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to make.com and we're gonna create a free account. Now, the reason I love Make is because it is completely no code, meaning you don't need to know code to use it, and you can create some awesome things with it. So 
The first thing we're going to add, um, actually before that, all you're going to do is go to the description of this video and essentially download the free blueprint. And then once you've downloaded the blueprint, um, you're going to click on these three dots down here and you're going to click import, choose file, and you are going to choose the advanced web scraper, which is the one that we I showed you right here. Um, but just for clarity and just so you understand the automation even more, I'm actually going to build this from scratch right now so you understand each part of it. Um, or at least I'm going to try my best to get all of it in the next 10 minutes um, to not overwhelm you. And I'm going to keep it not too in-depth, but just a bit more information so you understand how it works. So obviously the first thing we want to add is HTTP and it's going to be make a request. Obviously this is where the URL goes. So if you wanted to change this, you could very easily just search for, I don't know, let's do construction or like real estate might've been more unique. Um, but nonetheless, you can essentially change the location in the business directory and then paste in what you want to scrape um, right here. And then for the body type, it's going to be this one. And then pass response is going to be no. So just like that, you've done the first module already. Um, so you can see it's pretty easy. Um, the next thing we're going to add is a text parser. So if we click on text parser and we're going to do HTML to text, right? And we're essentially going to scrape data. So just like that, you've done one and two parts. If we quickly save this, always save your automations, really important. And then if we quickly run this, let's quickly run this. It's going onto um, this page right here with the URL. And let's quickly go back onto it. And you can see that if we go to text, it has scraped all of this information, which looks really messy. But then our job is going to be able to clean this up, which is what the following modules are uh, for in the automation. You know, we haven't included anything in here for no reason. There's a reason why it's quite long. Um, it's just because we need to clean all of this information out. As you can see, it's really long. So how we're going to do that is a text parser. So click on text parser. And we're going to get elements from HTML and the element type is going to be link this one. And then the HTML is going to be data. So that is perfect. Um, and then click OK and you can save it like usual. And then you can once again run it if you want. We don't want to run it uh, this time, but we'll run it in a second. Now we're going to have an iterator. So I explained what that does earlier, um, but essentially allows us to filter out each page so it's not messy essentially so um for the iterator we are going to put um i believe it's attributes let me just quickly check what it is on this one yeah it's attributes perfecto so if we click on this and then just do uh attributes and it's this one let's actually delete that so it should just be that that's quickly perfect so yeah that's it um, so hopefully it's not too complicated so far. Um, we've essentially given it the URL we want in HTTP. We've moved it through by getting the data. We've then essentially got the um, element type as link, HTML as data, and then we've ran it through an iterator to scrape each individual one. We're now going to have a tools, tools option, and we're going to search for sleep. And then you can just set this to one, but Let's just do five seconds. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, so that's that. Now we are going to um, do HTTP request again. So make a request. Um, the URL, if we go over here, I believe it is the first part of the, um, the thing you want to scrape. So it would be, I believe, this part. Um, and then it would be the, the actual value. But if we quickly check what it is, because I don't want to make any mistakes, um, yeah, you can see that it's the URL. So for example, um, yeah, you can see here, the iterator gives you this option. So if we just like copy, um, well, let's just, let's just do a different URL. Let's do, um, I think yellow pages to make it more unique. It would look like this. So you would obviously, yeah, go here, pop this here, and then you would select this as value. Um, and then that's what it would be. Um, but obviously you'd want it to be the same URL first part that you do in the yeah initial module. Um, and then for the body type, I believe it's the same. Let's just quickly check. Yeah, it's the same. Um, and then obviously we, we don't want to pass it through. Um, 
So yeah, we check that and we click okay. Perfect, so we're actually almost done. There's literally only like a few more to do. Um, now we are going to do OpenAI and it's gonna be create a chat completion. So if you click on OpenAI, you'll get this option right here to create a chat completion. Just select the model that you want. We're gonna use this one. It's really up to you, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then for max tokens, let's just put 400. And then add message, we're going to do, um, let's do assistant assistant and then for the message content let's quickly see what the prompt we gave it here this could be system as well uh but let's just use the same prompt you can obviously read this prompt if you want in your own time um but it essentially says please find all services the yelp listing provides uh, and then we obviously give it the um the the mapped field so if we click on this we get text um, right here. So you can see that it actually gives you the information, which is all the messy parts, but we're using ChatGPT to clean it up, right? Um, so now um, we are almost done. We're just gonna text pass it. So text parser, um, and then it's gonna be match pattern, I believe. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly see what we did here. Um, it's hard for me to memorize all of this off the top of my head. Um, for the pattern, we're obviously gonna copy this. You can pause the video and see what it is here. Um, but it is loading dot interface um, slash dot slash. Yeah, you, you can you can pause the video and check it out. Um, but yeah, that is essentially what we put um, in here. Um, and for the text, we obviously put text right because that is what we what we need so we find text as here um, and I believe it's just no all the way through um, so besides this one and case sensitive so case sensitive and that one which it's already on so we just want to click yes on this one and that's all you really need to change um, so then when you click okay and save it it should be good to go um, so now um, let's text pass it again there's a lot of text passes in this um, let me just find it. Here we go. Um, and for this one, let's quickly check. Um, we are going to yeah match pattern advance again, and we are going to put in this pattern. Um, but it's going to be the same thing. So what you can actually do is just uh, clone this. Go here, boom. Change the pattern for this, um, and then you should be good to go. Yeah, because this remains the same, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, it remains the same. You should change the pattern. So simple. Um, so save that. Save anyway. You can see that's fine now. Um, and then finally, we're going to have, um, I think oh, we're going to have one more text parser, which you can duplicate and then, yeah, get that for. Or maybe was that the same one? Okay, so yeah, sorry. There was one in between this, um, but you can very easily just clone this put it in the middle that's what we want now and then change this um this should be this so yeah you do need to quickly change that that's my bad made a mistake it's all good though so now we've got loading interface we've got that code and then we've got this one yeah this data can go to wherever you want whether it's a google sheets air table you name it, you can get this data into that. So um, what we're going to do is we're essentially going to update. So just search for update a row. And you're essentially going to connect your Google Drive. Um, search method, let's just do by path to make it simple. Spreadsheet ID, you're going to want to select. So the reason that happened is because I'm on a different Google Drive, but now it will give you a bunch of options for all the spreadsheets that you have. So if we just take, um, I don't know, let's do the advanced web scraper results and we sheet name is going to be sheet one um we are essentially need to go into map this information right so this is the final thing that needs to be done okay, so the final thing we need to do is actually add a filter in here so what we're going to do is um copy the filter here so it's in the second text parser to the iterator so if we essentially um go here and we click on it and we can set up a filter um you can call it whatever you want it doesn't actually matter too much um, in this case, we called it just filter. And then the condition is attributes. 
um, and then this is um, slash biz slash and the reason we do this I'll explain in a second but if you just put um, filter and then you get the um, attributes and you get this one and then you essentially have it as I believe it's just contains let me check quickly yes yeah, contains and then biz so what this means that there is a bunch of um, parts in here that we don't need like you can see all of these bundles these links aren't necessary so what we want to do is scrape the actual links that are the website for the um, the company so if we go to the um, you see how the URL it, for the website is essentially yelp.com slash biz this shows that it's the website so if you click on this it takes us to the roofing website which is what we want to have as the filter in make right so that's why we added this filter that says that it needs to contain this in the link because then that shows us that it's the website compared to just having a bunch of links and make.com not knowing what information to give you so now we've got a filter which means that from this point onwards it's only going to give us the links um, for the websites that have biz in the url because that shows that it's the website and no other link would have that in so um, that is why we have this filter really important so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video now obviously if you want this automation um, just copy it in the first link in the description it's completely free um, once you put in your email you'll get it sent to your email um, and yeah go from there so hopefully you enjoyed and I look forward to posting more videos on the channel so stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next one take care